98% of people were not able to solve this problem. We have two poles perpendicular to the ground. This pole is 15 units tall, and the other pole is 10 units tall. A straight line is drawn from the top of each pole to the base of the other, forming an X shape in the air as the two lines cross each other. Both these lines intersect at this point. Now draw this perpendicular line from this intersection point. We need to find the height h at which the two lines intersect above the ground. So, can you solve it? Let us consider the horizontal distance between this pole and this point as some value, say x, and between this pole and this point as y. We are not given the exact value of x or y, but we will not need it because later you will find out that they will cancel out in the process. Consider this bigger triangle and this smaller triangle. Both of them have the same angle, which is this angle, and both are right triangles. Therefore, both these triangles are similar to each other using angle, angle similarity criterion. So the ratio base over height of both the triangles will be equal. This means that this base, or x plus y, over height, or 15, will be equal to the base of this triangle, or y over this height, or h. Consider this bigger triangle and this smaller triangle. Again, both of them have the same angle, which is this angle, and both are right triangles, therefore they are similar triangles. So the ratio base over height of both the triangles will be equal. Therefore, this base, or x plus y, over this height, or 10, will be equal to the base of this triangle, or x, over this height, or h. Now, here comes the magic. Add both these equations. We get x over h plus y over h equals x plus y over 15 plus x plus y over 10. The left-hand side becomes x plus y over h, since both terms have the same denominator. On the right-hand side, both terms also have the same numerator x plus y. So we factor that out and write it as x plus y times 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10. Now simplify the values inside the bracket. 1 over 15 can be written as 2 over 30, and 1 over 10 can be written as 3 over 30. So 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10 is equal to 2 over 30 plus 3 over 30, which gives 5 over 30, and that simplifies to 1 over 6. Now we can cancel x plus y from both sides of the equation, and we are left with 1 over h equals 1 over 6, which means h is equal to 6, and that's it. So good!